Hey, Belle here, and my friend the giraffe. Anyway, so um, I wanted to make a video for a couple of reasons. One, it's been way too long since I made my last video, and two, because today marks a very special day for me. Um, oh, my cat's back there, too. Uh, today is the one-year marker for me being on Guardian Radio. Um, so I don't know how that year went by as crazy fast as it did, but it did. And it's been amazing. And so I just wanted to throw a couple thank yous out there and just talk about this last year. Um, so yeah, exactly a year ago today, I was on Guardian Radio for the first time as a guest on episode 84, which some of you might remember as being a very heated, interesting episode. Um, and yeah, so I was invited on as a guest to talk about Dames of Destiny, and next thing I know, I was asked to be a co-host. And I'm still in shock. I seriously, every single Monday, I'm like, what? I'm on Guardian Radio. <laughs> and um, it's been an amazing last year, um, not just because of being on Guardian Radio, but just in general. Um, but one thing I wanted to uh, hit on was, it was actually really funny, I was on Twitch, looking through my old messages, trying to find one that I had sent to somebody with some information I needed, and I came across one I sent to Guardian Radio back before I was on. It was like August 12th of last year, and I was like, hey, you guys, you should really have a female voice on your show. And I was like, hey, I'm a radio major in school, hint, hint. And uh, so, yeah, and then I followed up with, P.S., I will totally grow a beard to be on your show, and I'm still working on the beard, but, uh, so <laughs> that was my first real contact with them, and here I am now, and I know some people like me on there, and some people don't like me on there, everybody's got their favorites and their least favorites, and you know what, that's fine, that's how it works, but it has been such a cool experience, um, I do mean, I never thought that my radio experience would have gone towards podcasting, but it actually fits perfectly. So I just want to give some shout outs to some people who helped me get to where I am right now, especially with Guardian Radio. Um, so first of all, my husband, <laughs> he's the one that forced me to start listening to Guardian Radio and listening live. And uh, so thank you to him and for getting me into this game in general. And then uh, all of the people who were in chat back then, I know some of you aren't And then to all of the people who were in the chat back then, I know not all of you who are still there, some of you just can't make the live shows and everything, but you people, I mean, you know who you are. If you are people who were there when I first started listening and you made me feel welcomed in the chats and you, <laughs> if you're one of those people who helped me bug Mark to get the dames a shout out on the show, which is what led to me being on, thank you so much for your support and for helping me irritate Mark because, I mean, come on, he needs it. Anyway, so um, I also want to give a shout out to everybody who listens to the show. Whether you like me or not on there, thank you for listening because it's a great show. You know, me aside, forget if you don't like me, Guardian Radio, I mean, it's kind of groundbreaking, you know, sitting there being the show that started like the day after Destiny was announced and continuing this long and still having so much passion for it, despite how we sometimes might feel about the game. It's, it's so cool to be part of that, to get together with these people who, I mean, we've got a person from the UK, we've got a guy who lives out in North Carolina or South Carolina, whatever one you're in, Mark, whatever, you sell drugs somewhere. and. We've got a guy who works at NASA who's too busy flying his, his shoebox. And <laughs> we've now got k -Dub. I mean, we've got so many different types of people. And every Monday night, we get to come together and talk about this game that we all happen to play and, and for the most part, like, let me go back to our lives, you know? But I would say that over the last year, I would consider every single one of those guys one of my best friends. And then all of you, all of you who listen, who, who send us feedback, positive or negative feedback, all of you who tune into the show live, those of you who get upset on Tuesday mornings when the show's not out exactly on time for your drive to work, which I apologize for when that happens, but your excitement 
for this show and your experience of finding a community through this show is exactly why I love being such a part of it. And, you know, we get so much feedback saying, thank you guys for what you do for the community and thank you for doing this show. But, you know, we should be thanking you because this show wouldn't exist without the listeners. This show wouldn't exist if you didn't want it to. And the kind of community we have built up around this show is not just because of us. It's because of every single one of you and for you wanting that kind of community. So thank you. Because I don't think you understand what you guys mean to us and what you have done for every single one of us. I'm sure every single one of the hosts could give a similar story of what you mean to us. So thank you. And now that I said that a million times. (laughs) Um, But no, and just in general this last year, you know, the show is kind of the center of it for me. But this last year has just been incredible. Um, this community, every all, every charity stream, every new follower on Twitter, every time that I finally actually remember to go stream and find the time to stream, and those of you who show up or retweet it or whatever, just you don't you don't know what that means to me. I think every single person in this community has a story. Um, outside of the game and you know I've kind of shared mine before but this last year would have been a lot lot tougher on me if it wasn't for you all and for this show so I really really appreciate you guys and thank you for saving me and um Mark and Vife and Craig and K-Dub and any guest we've ever had on the show and thank you for giving me the chance. Um, Vife, you're the one who first kind of pulled me on. Um, So special thank you to you. I know we don't always get along on the show. I know we don't always agree on points and I know that some people think we honestly want to kill each other and who knows, maybe if we were in the same space we would. Someday we'll find out. But you came on the Dames Breast Cancer Charity stream last year. And you're the one who really was like, hey, we should have Belle come on the show to talk about Dames. And so I owe you a lot for seeing something in Dames that was worth showing off. And Mark, (laughs) thank you for having me on as a guest and for putting me through episode 84 because after doing that episode I can handle any episode but no thank you for seeing something in me as well and wanting me to be a co-host with you it's a huge honor and Craig same thing I I know we didn't have as much time together so far but you just you've been amazing and you're inspiring and Caleb you're new but you're awesome, and I know that sometimes we talk over each other, and sometimes we agree a lot, and sometimes we don't, but it's a blast, and I'm glad you're on board. And um, last shout out is to the dames, because of you all believing in dames and being a part of dames, you've helped me a lot. I get a lot of thanks for starting dames, but you know, you all made Dames what it is today, but you've also supported me as an individual person. And, you know, if Dames didn't exist, I might not have gotten notice for Guardian Radio. I might not be on there. And I owe you all so much. You have all changed my life in so many amazing ways. Every time I go look on our chats and stuff, I am inspired by what you all are doing and what you're talking about. And how you just enjoy the game together. So thank you (laughs) so much. And again, every single follower, every single person, whether you support me or don't support me, in a way you push me. So if it's because you like me and you say, go Belle, go, we love you, that melts my heart. It makes my day and it makes it all worthwhile. And those of you who don't like me, that just pushes me even further. So thank you. Even those who troll, thank you. You're part of the reason I'm here too. So, and uh, yeah, so here's to a whole nother year. 
here's to another like nine years. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's it. So yay, one year anniversary on Guardian Radio. Yay, amazing year with Destiny. I cannot wait for more, and I love every single one of you. This giraffe loves you too, and this bunny's got a bounce, so I love you. Oh, my cat's back there too. That hair's being dumb. Some people who. Okay.